Hey guys, it's Sam and this is Top 5 Wednesday. If you are new to Top 5 Wednesday, I will leave a link to the Goodreads group down below. This week's topic is not only a Top 5 Wednesday topic, but a BookTube SFF Awards book babbles topic. I will also leave the BookTube SFF Awards link down below because the end of the award season is coming up and the award show is happening very soon. This week's topic is science fiction and fantasy BFFs. So friends that you enjoy, their interactions in science fiction and fantasy books. I have more than five because it's a book babbles topic, so I'm expanding because I couldn't really narrow it down, so let's get into it. The first I'm going to talk about is more of a category of books because I would be talking about this like category of friend group the same across all these books if I talked about them individually, and that is the large crew or cast of characters, all of them friends with one another. This is represented in The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers, in Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo, in The Gilded Wolves by Rashi Chakshi, and in A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Maas. This just has large groups of friends that all really love each other and are like all trying their best. <laughs> which is a particular genre that I really like. So I really can't choose in all of these friend groups like a particular favorite friend interaction. I just really like how a lot of them interact and I might have some that are like slightly might, like a little bit but nah, I really can't like say which ones I like the most as far as which two friends in the group of friends that I prefer. So this like Subgenre of science fiction fantasy friendships is something that I'm always going to enjoy. Another group that also has a cast of friends is The Raven Boys with Maggie Stiefvater, but with this one specifically, the friendship that I seem to appreciate the most is Blue and Ronin. For some reason, I think they're like sort of antagonistic to being like badass best friends, but like quietly and just telling everyone to like fuck off. But it's kind of like flying under the radar. I really appreciate their friendship and their dynamic the most probably out of all of them. There's a lot of like shipping involved in this series, but I think their friendship that's completely platonic is my favorite. And we have Agnieszka and Cassia from Uprooted by Naomi Novik. These are just two girl best friends and Agnieszka like sacrifices a lot for Cassia and Cassia does the same thing and they're just like so that that like bond of long friendship from like childhood is done really well in here and I just really appreciate their friendship. A lot of people talk about like the romance stuff in here which is like this big of the plot but their friendship is a big part of it and I really appreciate it and how much that like go to the ends of the earth for each other. Speaking of ladies who will go to the ends of the earth for each other, we have Daughter Smoke and Bone with Karu and Zuzana and I just love them. They have in this story that's like very magical and whimsical and like kind of all over the place at times, we have these two like grounded in reality friends who really appreciate one another and are just this like this anchor of like normalcy in this world that's just so fantastical. Then we have Lawrence and Temeraire from the Temeraire series by Nomi Novik. This is a man and his dragon <laughs> and Temeraire is a talking dragon. He's like a magical talking cat dog dragon and they just love each other so much and they're very bonded. I'm reading the second book in the series right now so I'm just particularly like drawn to them and how much they just like love each other so much. They're like a little little family but also best friends. Speaking of friendships between magical creatures and humans, we have Vin and Tensoon, but also like Tensoon and anyone else that he really came in contact with from the Mistborn series. <laughs> I just really appreciate them and like a lot of the little intricacies of the story have like faded away with time for me. And this is something that has just stuck with me after, you know, it's been years since I've read this series, just like their relationship and like their friendship and Tensoon's friendship with various characters in the series and like how he's looking out for everybody. <laughs> he's doing his best. I just really appreciate them. Then we're getting to the top three. These are like my ultimate favorites. We have Alabaster and Asun from the fifth season by N.K. Jemisin. These two have a complicated dynamic. They're mentor and mentee. They are family. They have a lot of things going on, but I think ultimately, even though there's parts of the series where they like hate each other, they are still friends and they still ultimately like love each other at the end of all of it and it's just like they've been through a lot together but their like thread of love for each other carries them through. Then one of my favorite bro TPs ever, you guys knew this was gonna be on the list, that is John and Locke from the Lies of Locke Lamora. <sighs> These two just love each other. They like deeply love one another and, and, and they tell each other they love one another and like they, they both know that they love one another. 
I just, I feel so passionately about them. And I just really enjoy them. And basically, like, one of the reasons that I'm not currently, like, continuing with the series, I mean, I'm going to, but, like, I don't want to read the current book that's out because the third book in the series is out currently because I just, I don't want anything bad to happen to them and I want more books in the series so like hopefully I, I can know that they end up okay. It's my only wish for them. And lastly, my like top of the line friendship is Safi and Azul from Truth Witch. This was one of the first like solid female friendships that I'd seen in YA fantasy in a long time when this book first came out and now there's a lot more examples of those out there but this is still like, these two, no matter what else is going on in their life, if there's like romantic stuff, plot stuff, whatever, they are thread sisters. They are tied to one another through their threads. And they're always thinking about the other one, always want to get back to the other one. They have like necklaces that tell each other if the other one's in danger, like magical friendship bracelets. Like it's just everything. Like it feels, it feels so real and so grounded again in a fantasy world where there's a lot of like craziness happening at all times and they just mean a lot to me because they are the center of this story no matter what else is going on. So that is it for some of my favorite science fiction and fantasy friendships. These are the ones that like really stand out to me but there's a lot that I like. There's a lot of solid friendships in science fiction and fantasy so comment down below let me know some of your favorite friendships in SFF. Thank you all for watching and I'll see all of you guys soon. Bye!